Hello everybody, this is Brian back with a Gala Games uh, Gala token update here. Um, you can This is Gala on the weekly chart. I uh, just wanted to show you guys something here real quick and they have a uh, update on the airdrop I want to sh show to you guys. But first thing here on these charts I want to show you. If you look, okay, I want to get your attention right up in this area, okay, right where it says Gala X and look at the numbers, okay, right here there was 2.4 billion gala bought right on this candle right here okay this is on the weekly now if you come over to this candle here okay you have another what is it 1 billion tokens bought right in this green candle right here okay if we come over here to this candle there's another billion tokens bought right here okay so right through this zone right here we have massive uh, support through here okay this is on the weekly this yellow line right here is a weekly support and that's right where all that volume came in okay 2.4 billion tokens there okay now the, this was bought above the liquidity zone but a billion up there and another billion right here okay so we have massive support through this area okay I'm gonna show you some other stuff here that uh, is, is uh, turning very bullish for Gala right now the other thing is look at this weekly RSI look at it starting to curve starting to get a curve to it to curve up okay that's obviously what we want to see happen here okay it's cooled down it hasn't been this low where it's at now since uh, what back in uh, August of last year okay so down at this uh, this area it was it did come down that way uh, in November also of 2022 so it's been a while it's been six months or so since uh, the RSI has been this low on the weekly I'm gonna go through the uh, the rest of them here in a second and show you guys what's going on here because things are definitely setting up for a massive move in this market all right um, let's get on to this uh, Gala version 2 contract audits and details Gala, Gala just put this out today a couple hours ago it says we're back with more info about the upcoming update to Gala and the audit results for the tokens new contract as we announced earlier this week Gala version 2 will soon be released this updated token will improve the security scalability and overall sustainability of the Gala games ecosystem massively and we're thrilled to be near deploying this update Today we wanted to clarify a few points about the Gala version 2 update just so everyone has all the info they need. The snapshot and drop should be fairly straightforward and most shouldn't have to do anything out of the ordinary to ensure that they are delivered their Gala from the new contract. There are however several steps everyone should take to prepare for the drop that we'll explore later, later in this article. Okay, now it goes through what Gala version 2 brings to the ecosystem. We're going to uh, skip over that just for, for time reasons here. Um, okay, I'll just go through it slow in case you want to freeze it. But we want to get down to the, the airdrop details. There you go. If you, and there's a link if you want to check that. Ensuring your Gala is captured in the snapshot. All, all Gala on the Ethereum network will be captured in a snapshot on May 15th. We'll have more info about exact times as it approaches, but we've already asked that exchanges halt withdrawal and deposits early that day, Pacific time. Any Gala you wish to move on or off the network or out of smart contracts should be done prior to May 15th. This snapshot will only consider Gala held in ERC-20 wallets on the Ethereum network. <coughs> Excuse me. ERC-20 wallets are designed to hold tokens of the same type as Gala on Ethereum. Other tokens that are not on the Ethereum network will not be included. Any Gala in your Gala GYRI wallet or in your treasure chest is set ready for the snapshot. If you're curious about the eligibility of your gala, check out this support article to learn how to verify that your gala will be accounted for in the snapshot. 
you can click on that link there and it says here important any gala held as a liquidity or swap token may not be captured in these cases the actual gala is being held in a smart contract and is replaced with another token to represent it in this case the original gala is typically not what you are actually in possession of and could mean that gala version 2 ends up stuck in smart contracts not meant to support it the same goes for tokens left in contracts such as liquidity pools, where Gala under the new contract would have no way to exit the pool that was built for the old contract. This snapshot will also not include tokens received through bridges such as PGALA. Tokens like these are distributed through bridges created by third parties and are not supported by Gala Games. In this specific example, that, to that token is issued by a third party not affiliated with Gala Games as a representation of Gala on the Binance Smart Chain, entirely off of Ethereum. The following original ERC-20 token address is the only Gala outside of Project uh, GYRI supported by Gala Games. Then it has the contract address there. After May 15th, this will be the new contract address for all Gala on the Ethereum network. Exchanges and Marketplaces Centralized exchanges and NFT marketplaces operate through varying degrees of custodial wallets and complex smart contract entanglements. Since Gala actively engaged in a smart contract will go uncaptured during the snapshot, it is not advisable to have Gala listed for trade in a liquidity pool, set as an offer on an item or set as a price on, on an item. Remember, after the new contract is deployed, the original Gala will have no use. Marketplace, marketplace listings in the original version of Gala will be listed for a phased out token. The old Gala under the original contract will be defunct and have no utility whatsoever. We have communicated as much as we can with exchanges and marketplaces, but it's a big network. On OpenSea, you will find that offers and listings in Gala have been disabled preemptively so that as few as possible listings go unnoticed by the owner. While we have tried to deliver news and instructions to exchanges and marketplaces as far as we are able to reach, there are likely many smaller organizations out there that have not communicated with us or been made aware of the upcoming snapshot. For this reason, and out of an abundance of caution, we, re we recommend that you transfer any gala in cu custodial wallets, such as centralized exchanges, into ERC-20 wallets entirely controlled by you before the snapshot so make sure your your coins are in an erc20 wallet um you know or often exchange you know exchanges that aren't are not uh gonna be you know with this airdrop this will ensure your gala is accounted for and you are directly delivered your gala version 2 for full transparency the following are the basic instructions we are delivering to exchanges and marketplaces to inform them of the timeline all right, here's a, if you want to uh, freeze the frame and look at these. Um, it says here, no exchange or marketplace, however, is all obliged to follow our instructions. Some exchanges and marketplaces may limit deposits and withdrawals further than we recommend, and some may not even follow our guidance at all. If you're, cur if you're curious what will happen on the specific platform you use, reach out and ask that organization about their plans before the 15th arrives. Okay, now I'm going to go down through this slowly. So if you want to freeze it and read it, you can go right ahead. I believe this is super important um, for anybody that holds Gala. So I'm not just going to fly and skip over this. If you want to freeze it and read it, there you go. Okay, so this article is right from Gala Games, right on their uh, website. Okay, if we go up to the top here, uh, it's right on Blog Gala Games. Uh, if you go on to Gala Games' website and go down to the bottom of the home page and click on News, it'll take you right to this. Okay, um, there you go, April 24th. And, and you can even hit this and actually listen to it. So. I'm not going to do that. We're going to get out of that right now. We're going to move on here, guys. I um, wanted to show you the, uh, here's the crypto bubbles. This is for the hourly, okay? This is for uh, the daily. You can see this is the top 100. As you can see, uh, 
few of them there are getting smacked pretty good today. Cake, Hex, XRD are down pretty decent. Here's the Crypto Fear and Greed Index. Uh, we're going to reload this just to make sure it is up to the second. Okay, the market cap is down 0.31%. Volume is rising. I expected that to go up. I said that yesterday. It's up 31.3% today. Bitcoin dominance is about flat, and the market sentiment is at a 53 in the greed. We were at a 56 yesterday. Uh, here's your top 100 from coin market cap. Holy cow, look at Floki there, jeepers. That thing is uh, 150 million in volume over 24 hours. Um, yeah, geez, I don't know what's going on with that. I really don't look into, uh, you know, into them coins too much. But I'll go down through here. If you want to uh, freeze the flame, uh, freeze the frame, you can. You see on the right hand side, we're getting a lot of uh, smaller corrections today. Okay, we got a lot of RSI's resetting on this market, which is what I'm going to get to here on Gala. We also have a wedge formation forming on uh, this is on the weekly pattern too. Okay, but let's go through the daily. Okay, here's the daily. You can see uh, that wedge a little bit more clearer. Look at that RSI at the bottom. If that doesn't get you excited, um, just to give you an idea, the last couple times that the RSI has even went this low, you know, we had a, uh, what was it, 68% pump right there. Um, okay, so, whoops, I apologize. Let me get that back up there. Sorry about that. Yeah, there we go. Get my RSI back up there. Yeah, I, I need that thing. I use that thing constantly. Didn't mean to do that, guys. Sorry about that. But I wanted to go through these RSIs and show you, okay? You can see the pump we got off this one right there. Okay, this pump here wasn't nearly as much, but was the, it was <laughs> still 31%. You know, it wasn't uh, nothing. This little one right here, well, it's not little. If you go here, that was another 30% pump. And then, of course, this one right down here, okay, that was massive. You know, if we go to the top of that thing, 258%. So you can see when these daily RSIs reset, that can be a very, very good thing, okay? That's the daily RSI. I'm going to go through the higher time frames because uh, that's the ones we are interested in, okay? The 12, look at that, right, right down at the bottom, the 8, right down near the bottom okay so this is setting up beautifully all right this uh i believe we're going to get a pretty nice bounce out of this coin this week this uh support down here that i was uh, the liquidity the zone that i was getting to that massive support is right at 0 0.03405 okay that uh I, I honestly do not, even if Bitcoin does dump a little bit more, I don't see Gala dropping down below that. Absolutely not. There's so much uh, so much support there in liquidity. Okay, I believe that was our bottom of this uh, bear market back there, 0 0.015. I don't personally think you're going to get Gala that cheap again, quite honestly. Um, I think it would take a pretty serious dump in Bitcoin to get everything to fall down that low okay now if we go over here and look at uh some things i went over yesterday was with the dollar index with a fallen dxy um means a pump in bitcoin and uh let me maximize this thing and in the altcoins okay every bitcoin bull run we've had we've had a fallen dollar and uh every alt season that we've had has been the same thing okay this is on uh the daily chart you can see this thing forming a five wave down here we are one two three four i'm expecting this fifth wave to come in that support for that thing is at 100.7 okay and the daily rsi um let's get back here to the uh the rsi on that thing i want it on the daily here we're going to get to that Geez, I apologize, guys. Having problems here. I wanted to make that screen bigger today, and it's just causing me problems. So, but there's the daily on the DXY. You can see that thing is right at the top, uh, and starting to roll over there, right down here. Okay, so I'm expecting that thing to drop down 
a lot further than it is now. That should that thing should be coming down into the 90s, you know, within the next week or so, within the next few days possibly. If it breaks that 100.7, you know, it's going to free fall for a while. If we take this chart and actually flip it upside down, look at that. It looks like a perfect breakout. You know, you got your breakout, your retest. This was uh, uh, former support running up through here, okay? It would have broke out, retested, continuation. Would have been a perfect breakout, but we're going the other way with it, okay? That's flipped upside down. That's the way it, it is there. So you can see that support, it rode the whole way up here. Rode the 50 EMA the whole way up too. It lost it, that and the 200. Now back tested that as a resistance and and is falling right over, okay? Now if we go to, uh, to Bitcoin, just want to show you some very bullish stuff coming down here. Look at where Bitcoin's daily uh, RSI is at. Okay, that's down at the bottom. I'm going to show you the 8 and the 12. The 12 is at the bottom. And the 8 hour. The 8 hour is on its way up. But, uh, the, and I'm not saying Bitcoin cannot... Uh, not saying that it cannot come down any further it could absolutely come back down here because it's it has never back tested this breakout right here okay this one right here okay we had to run up we have not had the back test yet okay um, usually a breakout will come back to back test you can see when this one broke out here we got the back test it came right back down back tested the breakout Okay, so I'm, I don't be shocked at all if Bitcoin comes down to that 25, uh, 25, 2, 25, 3 area. Then gets a massive bounce from there. Don't, don't be shocked about that at all. The only reason I say that, the weekly, if you look at the weekly RSI on this thing, you know, look how it's coming down. Okay, so I'm not saying Bitcoin cannot come down any further. I'm not saying that we can't have a... Uh, you know some red days here but we are setting up uh for a big bounce here okay the last time um you know bitcoin was reset on that daily let me go through this and show you real fast here okay this move here just when bitcoin was reset here just this looks small because it's on the daily that's a 10 percent move a 10 percent move for bitcoin is is a big move okay this one here Right to the top it was a 44% move. Okay, then this one here was a 18% move. And you can see what this one here was. This was another massive, uh, massive move. That's a 45% move. Okay, so you can see what happens when these RSIs get reset. And uh, Gala is definitely setting up for a big move here, okay? If we haven't hit the bottom, we are very close uh, very close to it, okay? Like I said, it could come down and hit this weekly support at that point zero three four, And uh, that would get our weekly RSI pretty darn close to the bottom. If we don't start a bounce from here, I'm not saying uh, we can't with that daily down at the bottom like that. Yeah, you know, we could bounce right up and rip right out of here. So we'll just have to see what happens over the next couple of days. If that dollar starts free falling and Bitcoin uh, actually hits a bottom and starts bouncing up here, you know, it has a run to do up. These things don't go down forever. That isn't the way it works. So uh, be ready. Absolutely. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the video today. I appreciate it so much. Please hit the like and subscribe button and uh, have a great night.